Hey folks, welcome back to some more Atelier Riser. On our last episode, we had treated Lance's wounds at Ample's place. We then paid Claudia a visit to catch her up to speed on our recent happenings. We then listened to her player flute, and lastly, we now have plans to build a secret hideout. So, with that wee tidbit in mind, so let us continue its form to this wee menu first and foremost before we then press onwards. Ryza gets another earful from her mother, and now, with Claudia spending more time at her house, Ryza decides they need a base for their adventures away from their parents' crying eyes. So she decides to build her own secret hideout in the Pixie Forest clearing. Unsure how to begin this task, she decides to get Ampos input once again. Okay, but we're not going there right now. And why is that? Well, it's come to my attention that there are a bunch of side events that have been awaiting us. Even though there's been no clear indicator because I had ended up just walking randomly once before. For example, there is going to be one right here. Hey, you little troublemakers. Where do you think you're going? Hey, Agatha. Agatha, we were just, um, just out for a little stroll. <laughs> You yeah. expect me to believe that? Probably headed off to the forest or cliffs, or some other dangerous spot. Yo. Come on, you make us, sound like, make us sound like a bunch of reckless kids. We're prepping for our next adventure. You are kids. You avoid helping your families and just go wandering around. That's what kids do. Uh, well... Especially you, Ryza. Mio told me to keep an eye out for you, and really let you have it if I saw you. Mm. You're like the best guardian in town. You really don't need to waste your time on us. This is exactly what a guardian is supposed to do. It's my job to protect the village. Yeah, well, yeah, but we're technically part of the village too, right? <sighs> don't put split hairs with me. If you're really not a kid anymore, take responsibility for your actions. Mm -hmm. Huh? Who said I wasn't? I went against my parents' wishes to become a guardian. I trained in the forest, in secret. Agatha. I can't stop you from doing what you want to do, but that doesn't mean you could be so reckless. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Agatha. Love you. Mm. I just want to go home and read. Yeah. What are you talking about? She just gave us permission. Thanks a bunch, Agatha. Hmm. <sighs> you three still have a lot of growing up to do. Well, yeah, they're young. Very. But right, oh, there's probably more stuff to view, so I guess we may as well just head on towards it manually, just to see if we can knock out any side events on the way. Like this one. Oh, hey, it's Tao. Tao? What happened? You so fast And since we have these black borders, it's voiced. Neat. Oh, and they were trying to pick on you again, I presume? Oh, Plus, you have more pressing matters than actually starting a fight with two jobbers, in all fairness. So you won't come See, I like me events like this because it just shows that characters like Tao are just maturing a little bit. Hmm. Ah, 
そういえば一度聞いてみたかったんだけどタオってその本で得た知識を何の役に立てたいの役に立てるえ考えたこともなかったななかったってそれじゃあ何のためにあんな必死に解読しようとしてたの何のためにか<笑>ライザも知ってるだろ僕の家の本が山積みになってる書庫あうんひじいさんが事故で死んじゃってからあの本の山は何十年も埃をかぶってたんだ僕は物心ついた頃からずっと知りたかった本に記してある謎の文字と図面の意味を山積みになっている量だけの何かがきっとそこに込められているはずだったからそして今アンペルさんのおかげで一歩前進できたまだ完全じゃないけどちゃんと意味があると分かっただから知りたいんだあの本に書いてあること全部が何のためにってただ知るためにさななるほどね<笑>おいこんなところにボスさんボスさんタオがいましたよ Oh, hey, it's the prime jobber. So, no, I get it. Boko, are you okay? I can't go a set and you get a car. Mother, well, to us for now, Tao. Coremo say, Joe, Nano, can I? Well. That was pretty neat overall. But right, so there seems to be a side quest, it looks like. Oh, wait, an event? Oh, is this how the quests are going to be done? Okay, that should do it. Thanks, Doc. It is how the quests are going to be, eh? All events before them? Hi there, Ryza. You're not injured, I hope. No, no, I just happen to be passing by. You seem to be keeping busy, though. Oh, yes, indeed. It's been a very busy day here today. But to that topic, I'm in a bit of a bind. Really? What's the matter? Well, I'm running low on a few medicinal ingredients. I usually get a regular delivery from one of our traveling merchants, but our latest delivery hasn't arrived. Oh. Okay, I'll go gather up everything you need. I do appreciate that, but are you sure you know exactly what can be used in medicine? I used a lot of the same things for my alchemy, so I think I've got a pretty good handle on it. But you're not going to be in any danger yourself out there. Oh, don't worry about it. I know a nice, safe place to get what I need. I, I see. Then if it's really no trouble... Not at all. I'll be back before you know it. I mean, we might already have the stuff in question. Oh, well, we do. Edward is the only doctor on the island, and he needs more medicinal supplies. I hope I can get some for him. And hey, 200 coal! Okay. Hey, Edward. Take some of this. Let me just make sure. Yeah, I'm fine with this, actually. Hey, Doc. I gathered up everything I could find that has a medicinal use. Wow, thank you. Let me take a look here. Mm, you're right. Everything here can be put to good use. Glad I could help. So did you ever find out what happened with that delivery? Oh, it looks like there was some kind of mistake, and it got put on hold. They sent me a letter of apology. I still have no idea when it might arrive, though, so I'm really thankful to you for, for taking care of this. My pleasure. And if I can help with anything else, don't hesitate to ask. That's very reassuring. But I really hope you're not putting yourself at risk for this. Uh, definitely not. He probably knows where exactly I had to go to get those ingredients. Yeah, most likely, hence why he gets it delivered to him. Else he'd probably attempt to gather some of himself. Oh yeah, it's the jobber one, jobber two. Okay. And, yeah. Just in general, we don't get to talk to them. Maybe we will in the future, though. That'd be nice. Okay, there are two side quests. One here, 
And one there. Oh boy, time for lots of events, huh? I guess you could say this is a pretty eventful adventure. Anyway. Hey, Ryza! Looks like you're having a good day today! You too, Rolf. Hard to work as usual. What? Today? <laughs> no. I really don't have much going on. Actually, it's the source. It's made since I became a handyman. You don't need help with anything, do you? Mm, no, nothing comes to mind. Hey, it's Agatha. Oh! Oh, hey, Agatha. You're looking for work, huh? I've noticed you do seem to have a lot of free time. Wow, you don't rinse words, huh? Not that you're wrong. Back when lots of people were moving, I had plenty to do. But that's slowed down a bunch recently. All I really do these days is deliver milk and water. Um, well, I'll ask around while I make my rounds. And I'll let you know if anyone needs a handyman. I'll try and find you some work too. Thanks, you two. Cheers. To be honest, I have no idea what everyone around the island thinks of broth. I should find out. <laughs> That's a cute fucking face, though. Well, Rice and Baby don't call you for me. She's get a bit bare for me, you know, at times. But right. Oh, speaking of cuties. Hi there. Oh, wait, what? An event? Oh, it's for the quest. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, Rolf, let's see. He always makes time to say, oh, he seems like a really nice, great guy. Uh, and have you ever hired him as a handyman? A handyman? No, never. He, do, he really does seem nice, no? I see. Well, that was one person. So, is it just people in general that I talk to? Like, well, it would be lame. How about over here? No. I guess I'll just talk to some NPCs until something happens. I doubt it's these two, yeah. These two aren't really going to be useful at the moment. What about over here? No. Hmm, what does it say actually? About no, no, I don't want to whack things with my stick. Let's see, let's see. Handyman in needs. Oh, in Border District, Old Town, and Kirkin Port. Okay, so we have to go to three areas. Ah! Uh, yeah, we'll try and get this quest done first. Before we get another one. Old Town? That guy is really booking it. In terms of animation. In terms of actual movement speed, not so much, but animation he is. How about you? Hey! Excuse me, can I ask you about the local handyman? Handyman? Oh, you mean Rolf? That's right. Have you had many chances to hire him for anything? He brings me water with it if I need it. That's it? Just water delivery? Yup. Don't really need help with anything else. The local shop is kind of far away, but I force myself to do my own shopping so I don't get out of shape. Hmm. Okay, thanks. Hmm. He doesn't really seem needed for now, but right. Kirk and port. Maybe the port will be what he needs. And who knows? Maybe there'll be an event. Because we haven't been to the port in a while. Okay, it doesn't look like there was an event. There's a quest right over there, which we may have to get to. Wait, can we go around it? Okay, how about you? Rolf, hmm. He's come by a few times to buy fish to deliver to other folks. He's always been very friendly and cheerful. And have you ever hired him to do any work for you? Once I brought him on the sword to... Oh, no, sorry. Once I brought him on to help to... to Once I brought him on to help sort out a haul of fish. There we go. I brought it. But usually I can handle that by myself. Great, thanks. The local fisherman doesn't seem to need help with anything. Oh. I talked to everyone I could, but the fact is they're just... Uh, Oh, yeah. But the fact is just... <laughs> I keep mincing my own words by accident. Ah! Anyway, I talked to everyone I could, but the fact is there just isn't much demand for a handyman. Even though all they say what a nice guy he is. Come to think of it, I've never hired him to do any work either. I really hope he can find some more work soon. You hiring people? What? 
Anyway, quest. Hi, cute girl. Oh, hi, Rice. It's me, Romy. Hey, Romy. So you're back, huh? Yup. I've been back for a while now. I've got plenty of new wares to sell. I'm glad you're doing so well. So, do you want the usual? Yup, I'm ready to buy as much of your wheat as you've got. Great, I'll bring the first shipment over to you later. Well, that's just a quest, huh? Thanks, and say hi to your parents for me. Hopefully, I've got some wheat on us. 306. Oh. Man, I wish I had that done. Ah, well, we'll just make our reality soon enough. So, I guess back to the Bowling District we go. Wonder if there'll be an event here before we, you know, turn in the thing to Rolf. Yup, it's Mommy. the jobbers again. Oh, it's Boss and Lumbar. They look really serious. I wonder what's going on. Uh... Sorry, boss. My mom had a really bad stomach ache. <laughs> That's what happens when you buy medicine from some random fly-by-night merchants. But it was so cheap, she couldn't help herself. <laughs> Humph. That's why you can't trust drifters. This has been happening more with father's success here. Speaking of which, I don't trust that alchemist that's been wandering around here. Huh? Oh, him. Yeah, he and his lady bodyguard have been crawling around our ruins. They're likely grave robbers. Yeah, tell me you're trustworthy. He looks young, but acts old, and I don't trust that gorgeous sidekick of his. What the heck? Untrustworthy? Grave robbers? Risa, how dare you talk back to bulls? I don't want to hear it. Um, okay. Oi. You can't deny he's suspicious. He relies on his dubious alchemic sorcery for one thing. There's nothing dubious about alchemy that's... He's got a point, though. Because if you think about it, if it was used for, well, bad things, yeah. I've been researching it. You mix things together to create something completely different. If you know that's what it is, then why? Because that's what makes it dubious. It just doesn't make any logical sense. The entire village knows how weird he is. You and your lot are the only ones who don't seem to see it. You're wrong. That's not what alchemy is about at all. Well. With comes great power, comes great responsibility, huh? Because yes, alchemy can be used for dubious tasks. It can be used for bad and all that. So, you know, let's just talk to Rolf, because this doesn't seem to be the end of the quest. Report. I asked everyone I could think of, but it seems like they're all just taking care of their own problems. Yeah, it costs money to hire a handyman, so nobody's gonna ask for help unless it's something really big. I need to find a way to make more people willing to ask for my help. Why don't you sell some kind of, like, help of anything coupon? Then I would be able to turn it down no matter what, right? People might take advantage of that. But there's no denying I need to come up with some kind of plan. Anyway, thanks for asking around. Toodles. He's willing to help with just about anything, but people still won't ask. It's a tough problem to solve. Wait, was it not complete? Like, is there still more to do? No, it's done! It's done. Okay. Oh, we can actually do that, huh? So we now can make mixing oil. And now we have fish oil. Interesting. Oh, is this an item? Is this actually something that we equip? Let's see here. It is. What do these do? Increase defense and reduce stun gauge. Speed up. Okay, so it's a buff item. Okay, let's put this on. Tau. There we go. Anyway, hello there, old lady. Hey, Barbara. Barbara, yeah. You're looking kind of flushed. I just came out to do some grocery shopping, but my feet started killing me. 
Maybe I should go and get some more medicine from Edward. It's so sad when you notice how your body doesn't work the way it used to. Hmm. I really just miss having you little things to look forward to. Hey, I know. Barbara, I'm going to make you my own special medicine. You? Where did you learn how to make medicine? Well, technically I'm still learning, but I'm sure I can make something that works. Uh, do you think so? Well, thank you very much. I'll be looking forward to it. What's the point of learning alchemy if I can't use it to help others, right? We'll do that quest later if it is what I think it is. Yup, it's a blessing ointment. So she has chronic leg pain. Ooh. Because I would like to actually continue on to the main story for now. As we did do some side activities and what have you. We even got some nice rewards out of it as well. So that's all fan dabadozy. There's also another quest right there. Oh, don't tease me with that. Should we just see what it is? Hmm. Nah, not for now. There's such a thing as too much. So ひとりだちしたばかりだろう自分たちの隠れ家作りで早速値を上げるのかやっぱりそううまくはいかないかだいたい一人前の錬金術師が作ろうと思い立ったならそれが何であれまず自分でレシピを想像すべきだ柱なら柱、壁なら壁。いや、家丸ごとすらも調合の結果として捉え、そこからレシピを想像する。レシピを想像する。錬金術で作る他の道具みたいに。重要なのは想像と結果を直結させる勘だ。私なら材料は想像を
イメージそう家ならどんな感じの材料が必要かってある程度推測できるじゃないそれが分かればどの材料をどう錬金術で調合すればいいかもなんとなーく分かってくるわけうんそうなのかちょっと待ってよえっとこれとこれ。必要な材料をまとめてみたこれだけ揃えば隠れ家が建てられる気がするこの材料を作るための原材料もたくさん採取しなきゃいけないけどこの材料から調合完成までがつながっていく錬金術師としての確信ってやつ信じてくれる、hey, I mean, I trust you. <laughs> Because I'm actually really curious about this hideout. Oh, Claudia, dear, it'll be okay. I'm sure you'll get party member right soon enough. Claudia, what did you say? Oh, yeah, what do you do? Do you have anything to help me? Claudia, do you want to help me with the finish? It's not a good sense of Ren and Tao. It's not a good sense of Ren and Tao. Okay, now that's just rude. I mean, look, there may be boys, and boys generally at younger ages like a lot of cool things, but don't you think we're kind of stereotyping here, girlfriend? I mean, you have every right not to know. She's just insulted you, then and there. That's right. Liza is on our behalf. Yeah, they're offering to help you out, and you just sass them for it. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm just thinking about it. You better. Haha, that's right. So, I'm waiting for everyone to finish. I'm waiting for the food and food. Oh, that would be lovely, Chumpley, sweetie. Really? I got the cookie you gave me before. I'll stop bit talking about cookies, please. Mushiro, so no time you guys out, it's down on the line. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 そうそうそういうことたく偉そうに言うなよなへへ<笑>何にしてもやることは決まったわけだちゃっちゃと材料を作って隠れ家を直しに行こうぜあーあああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ Solid fuel recipe. Learn how to make mixing oil. Red hide up materials. Learn how to make building materials, stone materials, seaweed soil. How am I gonna get? Oh, am I gonna have to get a fishing rod? Oh no! I don't even know how to get one of the materials for it though. Let's find out. Let's see what we can make. Let's see what we can make. Dang it. Where did I get salt grass from? Because I can make everything else, right? Oh my. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Right. So, what's going to be all required here? Make one of the materials. Okay. One of them. Right. 
Rides and figures out what materials she'll need to belt the hide and decides to start with the easiest items first. So just one. Just one, yeah? Okay. Well, I think having a foundation is a smart idea. Oh no. Oh no. You can synthesize a lot of other things. Okay. They had. And you can probably upgrade in the future. Oh no. This is how they reel me in. This is how they get me attacked. Oh no. Housing is one thing that really gets me hooked. Oh. No! <laughs> I can't get lights! No! Who can say where the road goes? Only time flows. I forgot the lyrics, so. <laughs> well, I guess this will just have to suffice. Okay. Two of them. Me. I got me leveled up though. I'm coming back for you lights in the future. よし、できた。おお、いつもなんとなく見てたが。やっぱり錬金術ってすごいもんだね。材料が全然違うものになるなんて、まるで魔法みたい。まだ始まったばかりよ。どんどん調合するからしっかり運んでね。森の広場まで出来上がったものを一つ一つ運ぶのか。とんでもない重労働になりそうだな。いっそのこと森で調合すりゃいいだろうに。なんでわざわざここから
I was just want to head there just to see. But didn't we see kind of a big beastie there? I mean, we could always head there next time, right? Maybe I can figure out where Salt Cross is. Yeah, I think we'll just do a bit more synthesis we'll end things off here for now. Until I figure out where to head to get the Salt Cross. Well, it's not until then. Of course, we bought you sooner for you, Lot. Gosh. I'm the one who has to go out and search for it. Ho -ho! All right, so we got six building materials, six stone materials. Should I make ten of each just in case? Bonk. I'm just going to do that just on the off chance because it's technically five. Yeah, I think I'll do that because it don't say five. And I'm totally not doing this as an excuse to get uh, some EXP as well. Right. We got this. Kill ya. Another one. Oh, 17. Whoop, whoop. And then we do this one. And we just shove some rocks in it. Another rock. And then another bench. No, that's attack charge. We don't need these rocks to be aggressive. The boulders are angry. Good. We good. We good. We got ten. We got ten. Right. Hopefully, that's good enough. Because I don't know why a part of me thinks stuff like this might be needed. But then again, we can't even get enough for that. So for now. That might be really cool, though, to be honest. But we're probably going for a wooden hideout, first and foremost, right? But anyway, folks, I think this shall be our ending point for now. So, thank y'all for watching this episode of Atelier Riser. And I'll see you all next time. Ta-ta for now.